Hey everyone, Rob Nelson here. Now, over the last week, I took my family here to Colorado for a family vacation. We're gonna introduce our kids to their great grandparents. There's a lot that I wanna teach these kids. I want them to be good people and just learn to live life to the fullest. And it made me think about one thing. We're actually all teachers, whether we like it or not. What are we getting? Ice? Ice! Run and go get ice. Now I, of course, enjoy teaching directly, uh, both through videos like this and through presentations, but I realize that I haven't gotten to where I am completely on my own. I have a lot of people to thank, including both my grandfather and my dad. So for me to get my point across and to kind of say thank you to those two, let me explain. First of all, my grandfather, he was a dentist and I watched him growing up and I just learned the importance of being genuine and nice to every single person you meet. As a side note, he also taught me to work with metal. Not only did he teach me to make my wedding ring, uh, this ring that we're making right here is actually from the old fillings from hundreds of different patients over the years. Now, from my dad. Of course, I was with him for the first 17 years of my life. I learned just a whole lot more from him. He taught me to have fun and to keep that youthful spirit in me always. Of course, my dad probably won't admit that. I do distinctly remember him saying I need to be responsible and need to be grown up and stuff like that. The biggest thing I do remember him telling me is to follow my dreams, and that's exactly what I've been doing. Rob, the bulls are over there. Behind you. Uh, but the nice thing is that I don't have to necessarily remember in my head how my childhood was, because my dad recently shared with me just thousands of hours of video that he shot over the years. Now, my dad was not a videographer or a filmmaker, but he filmed everything. In fact, this is him making a compilation video of our holidays in 1986, in which he blogged about Christmas. Also, what we have tacked on to the end of this is Sonia's first try <laughs> at trying to narrate this film. In fact, the more I watched, I realized that even this holiday, I'm taking almost exactly the same shots some 30 years later. Now, I'd like to think I took the filmmaking one step further, but it's just a good reminder that whatever we do, people are watching. If we have kids, our kids are watching. We just went and saw Santa, and it was really fun, right? Yeah, right. In fact, this was even more evident when Haley and I started looking through the footage on her phone and realized that August, my four-year-old, had been blogging the entire week. He was my mommy. Hello, I am the mommy. Hi, it's August and age four. So just remember, as you go through life, as you're making more films, people are watching you. You are a teacher. What kind of daddy are you going to be when you're when you're grown up? Science. A science daddy? Yeah. It doesn't matter necessarily what you say, though. You don't have to formulate your thoughts because your actions speak louder than words. All right, we'll see you next Tuesday. Oh no, Leo got stuff in his eyes. Are you okay? Okay, here. Just for fun, if you do want to see our home video that I shot over the holidays, um, here's a link right here.